W. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> we have a weekend vlog. We're doing a little weekend in my life. My mom has officially moved in with us since we dropped Colin off at the airport. But I think I said that in the last vlog. Honestly, I don't remember. But yeah, no, I did. I did. So she's here with us. Vlog number two of Colin being in Montana. So yeah, I bet you I could insert some clips that he sent me. Yeah. If, if Point I out to me, yeah, exactly. Point him out to me. Yeah. But we just went and worked out. So um, my mom took the 9:30 class, and then I met here her here with Sutton at Orange Theory for the 10:45, and my mom just hung out. And then we got smoothies, and now we're gonna go to this little farmers market. What time do they close at? Noon. What time is it? It's 12:25. Wow. Maybe it's one. No, it might be three. I don't know. Let's go by. Okay, we're going to go by and see. And then today, Connor, my brother-in-law, plays at 1.30, so in about an hour. So we're going to put his game on the TV and probably clean at the same time. And all the things. Yeah. Oh. We're back home, and I... Just logged into ESPN Plus so we can watch my brother-in-law's game um, because we had it on our old TV, but we recently, not recently, since the football season last year, had to get a new TV because our other TV just died. So um, I just went through all of Colin's family's passwords trying to figure out the login and I got it. So yeah, um, I'm in. Now I'm just trying to find the game. I don't even know who they're playing today, so I who are they playing today? I could get you. 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 Did I already pass it? I could get you. I could get you. Where's Where's Patty? I could get you. <laughs> We might need to search it. Harvard and Princeton. That's not it. That's not it. Virginia Tech, no. Colgate, no. Okay, you know what? Oh, those are all happening now. Duh. Okay, we need to... What time is it? So the game is in 15 minutes. Are you going to sleep through all Connor's game? You're crazy. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Volleyball. Okay, they're playing Yale. Yay, they're playing Yale. Late fourth quarter rally at the top of the nine, 28-22, while Yale dropped its over. Okay, like uh, okay we're going to do... I know the football game is not in the background, but while they're on offense, because Connor's defense, I'm going to give you guys a little haul. So, we got some peaches. I almost said pears. We got some peaches. And acorn squash. Mm -hmm. We got a cucumber. They're wobbling. Some onion. It all smells so good. Oh my god, fresh basil. You guys, this smells amazing. Okay, yeah, for you pay three dollars for a little plastic and two. Three dollars, this whole thing. First we got red, yellow, green for chili. We're gonna make chili. We're getting in the fall spirit. We're being <gasps> Oh my god, we caught it. That was a good ass play. Hold on, we gotta go watch the recap. And we're gonna do eggplant parmesan. We got two. So there's our little farmer's market haul. 7 7, 4 0, and Yale. I'm the 40. You're watching the Ivy nice. You're watching ESPN. Dude, you must have been a little excited because you were shaking the camera. Go, Uncle Connor! Go, Connor, go! 
Go, Connor, go! Get him, Connor, get him! <laughs> Tackle! <laughs> get him! Get him! Get him, Connor! <laughs> I just spent the past like 15 minutes going through and refreshing my website for fall. It took me no more than 15 minutes. It was so easy. As you guys know, I have my website through Squarespace. I use them to create it and it is so user friendly and easy to use. So I just kind of updated the colors, added a few more things. And I also wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all in one platform I use to create my website. It can also help you build your brand and grow your business online. Squarespace, you can stand out with your beautiful website, engage with your audience online, and you can sell anything. It can be tangible, digital, your time, anything like that. I love having a website just as my general hub for all of my content that I post since I have YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And so that way it's just one place for everyone to find everything, including links and even like my like to know it or my Amazon storefront. Literally everything is just right there for me. There's a ton of really great features about Squarespace, which is what really drew me to them. I talk to you guys all the time about how I can connect my social media accounts, which is huge for me. So I can automatically push website content to my favorite social media channels and also my followers. You guys can share it too. Another few features that I think are huge are mailing lists. So if you have a store or something that would require for you to send out mailing lists, you can get the right message to the right people. You collect their email addresses through your website and then you can send subscribers the information they care about most with those unique mailing lists. And also, like I said, if you have an online store, you can sell your products on an online store. And then whether you're selling physical or digital products, Squarespace has the tools that you need to start selling online. So they have blogging and commenting features. So that way you can create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments and replies and likes. And also you can use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and you can also schedule your posts too. So what's great about Squarespace is they do let you do a free trial. So if you want to check it out for yourself and do the free trial, you can head to squarespace.com. Whenever you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Bianca Henderson, and that'll give you 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. That way you can try it out, but I promise you will love it. It's literally so easy. You don't have to know how to code. There's templates you can look at, and I say this all the time, but if you guys want to go to my website, it's always in the description box of all my videos. You can kind of use that as a guide for when you are creating your website and get inspiration for mine. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring the video. My link for you guys to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain will be in the description box below. And I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the blog and putting the final touches on my website. Cornell lost. So that stinks, but yeah. Anyway, we just got back from a walk and doing Sutton's bedtime routine. So now my mom's going to put her down for bed while I make dinner. So I'm going to do my pesto pasta because I got that pesto from Costco last time we were at Costco. So I'm going to do pesto basil pasta. I need to wash out this pan that I used earlier, actually. Um, yeah, pesto basil pasta and I'm going to do zucchini in it as well with chicken sausage from Trader Joe's so that's what I'm doing tonight a little healthy dinner I've been really into cooking with avocado oil spray lately oh, what is on my thumb I don't know also the smaller our place pan versus the bigger one was so worth it I literally use this one every single day well I use the other one every single day too but I use this like multiple times this one I really only used for dinner but like making eggs in this is so much more simple than the big one so so worth it I'm so happy I got it do you want to go outside I bet you have to pee just woke up put like, just put just put here up in what are we doing? Oh, Slept on pill 11. That's what happens when you get a baby that's crying throughout the night. You can't get up in the morning. We don't, yeah, this is not, this is not clean girl aesthetic, healthy girl boss. I literally cannot stand that word. I hate that term. Girl boss. Are you a girl boss? You're a girl boss. He's a cute boss. <laughs> Hi. I think I'm cute. Okay, in our defense, we did FaceTime with Colin for like 15 minutes. So technically, we didn't get up at 11. 
it was like 10 something we laid in bed until like 11 though this is not like productive energy get things done life i love to live yeah no it's sunday we we slept through all the classes so i guess we're gonna go on a long w-a-l-k um so yeah Sutton was up all night all night but look she's thriving now those extra hours in the morning did you good, didn't they? Do you want to go take Murphy do outside? Also, like so weird, but I woke up and my armpit was hurting. Look at my armpit. Do you see that rash? What in the world? Okay, also don't be fooled. This mirror is like an optical illusion and it makes you look like skinny. And like slim and trim. I don't know if it's the angle it's hung at or like where it's hung. But then if you go into that mirror over there, not that one, if you go into this one, totally different look. <laughs> totally different. This is my pajama look. My pants are my black pair from Target. Wearing an oversized sweatshirt from Princess Polly. And my phone. Yeah, okay. We're gonna like get our life together so i ordered a new pair of uggs because i literally trashed mine last year when it rained or i mean snowed and i wore them in the snow and i'll not do that with this pair ever um but also my pair had a hole in them from not when he was a puppy from when we had riley in high school like i've had that pair forever since i was in high school and so i decided this year i wanted to get myself a new pair so i got this shorter pair um and i was like okay i'm gonna buy them in case they're sold out but right now i'm pretty sure they're still in stock because last year they were super sold out so yeah i'm really happy to have another pair some breakfast i made a peanut butter side of an english muffin and also egg and cheese on the other side like an open-faced little situation and then we're currently getting ready because we have errands to run here's sissy's outfit one of you guys bought this outfit from her for her from Zara, and she finally fits, so she's wearing it. See, I'm just a petite girl, that's all. But the pants come to, all the way down to here. It's just because my mom's holding her. Are you trying some toast? She likes the peanut butter. Okay, let's go. Wearing my Anita Bing sweatshirt with some jean shorts and um works i don't know how i feel about the socks but that's how everyone's wearing stuff and then i wear it and i feel like i look like a dork coffee first we'll come back we're at south park mall we're holy we're gonna be in a, we're gonna be a line. shit Here. Oh my god, put them on. It's crazy. So we ran to South Park really quick before we go to the grocery store into PetSmart. We ran into the mall because I needed to go to the Apple store. And I'm so glad that we went in there, first of all. One, we saw my really good friend Katie. She works at Lululemon. We went and saw her. Two, I saw my friend from elementary school middle school high school his name's ryan he works in nordstrom he dresses so great he's a manager now and he was wearing an essentials hoodie and a gucci belt and he looked amazing i was like oh i feel like i look like crap <laughs> and then so yeah we saw him and then we went into starbucks and the line was out the door so i didn't go still haven't had coffee today but i need to and then we went Hold on, I need to get directions to Starbucks. Then we went, but I'm gonna start driving because I'm sure someone's waiting for my parking spot. Oh, literally no one. Oh, a bunch of people leaving. Yeah, go that way. Yeah. So, I went into the Apple Store. I need a new computer. It's no secret. I my computer's from 2015, and so like now's the time. I'm gonna just do it. Okay, I have this tie dye shirt on. Yeah. And she's pulling up my shirt and then she opens her palm and looks in her hand like, <laughs> she's, like she's gonna pull the paint off. Yeah, like she's getting the color. She keeps doing it. Oh like she's God. getting the colors off my shirt and then she opens her hand. There's nothing there. Silly girl. That is so cute. Um, Wait, what was I saying? I don't know. Either way, Sorry. we ended up speaking to a technician 
because I can like order it online and everything. I just want to make sure I order the right stuff, you know. I decided because I was going to get the 13 inch. Now I have to get the 14. And then um, I had a question because the M2 and the M1, it was so confusing. So he told me that the M2 is just an updated version of the M1. And in the 13s, you can pick between M1 or M2. But um, in the 14, it has like M1 Pro or something, which is better than the M2 and like something. And so it's like two M1s together yes. or something yeah. like that. Yeah, something like that. So he basically set me straight, told me what to get. And then now I feel like way more confident in getting it. And it was like so busy in there. So I'm glad that I could just order it online and then I can just go pick it up one day this week. But yeah, my computer freezes every time I try and edit. So, and every time I try and export, it takes me like four times before I can get it exported. So I feel bad because like, sometimes I'll say it like to my management, like, yeah, I got a video exporting, but then it fails like 40 times and then it takes me like way longer to get it in than I anticipate. And then sometimes it goes on the very first try. So it's a crapshoot. It is a crapshoot. It's time. I've had that MacBook since 2015. And also I've misplaced my AirPods. So, um, I kind of just want to get the AirPods Max because, because, listen, I'm going on a rant right now. I totally know, but I have all these things to tell you. My AirPods, I cannot keep them in my ear, and I don't know if it's because my head is so big or what. But if I move my head, be the inside of your ear. Well, I've tried the different attachments, and they none of them stay in my ear. Mm -hmm. And if I just open my jaw, like, they fall out. No way. Yes, and well, so then I was like, you should have got these. I know the wrap behind the ear, right? So then, Mine but the so now I'm like, I really want the AirPod Max, AirPod Pro Max, whatever. But they're so expensive, I like don't need. To, but I really want them. But you know, and then also, I also really want an iPad. So that's my dilemma. The girl's got a big wish list. And I want a vacuum. <laughs> good lord. But I actually really need a vacuum. Like a good. The one that we have right now isn't very good to be honest and i really want a cordless one so i can just because you know how many times a day we have for vacuum because of murphy do your vacuum now is cordless does it have high suction my vacuum now isn't cordless oh i thought it was no oh I th my mistake i thought it was and no it doesn't it misses shit all the time mm -hmm. And the dog hair, we have to empty it out. Like you can, you could do like a certain spot, but then you have to empty it because the canister isn't very is big. Small. It is yeah. tiny. Yeah. So I've got a big, big list of things that are all expensive. So when we were in the mall, we were in Nordstrom, and we were by the section that has the Nuna car seats and strollers and stuff. And I saw three people looking at the stroller that we have. And so I just had to give them my two cents. And I said, that's the best stroller ever. And then they were asking me questions. I demoed the entire thing for this one couple. This other girl was asking, cause she's five months pregnant. She was asking what stroller we have too. And then this other couple, she was saying she wanted a different one. And I was like, trust me, you don't want the different one. Can I get a venti iced chai tea latte with light ice? And oat milk in that. Yes. Yeah. And then can I get three shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup with oat milk and then um, two pumps of brown sugar syrup and two pumps of pumpkin sauce? All right. And then um, also pumpkin cream cold foam on top and that's it. Thanks, you too. Where did you get a baby? It was supposed to be. Well, why don't you tell her, baby? I paid for it. Honey. Because I don't have, I don't have the energy for that. I mean, it's good. It's not in a venti cup, but it tastes good. All right, so it needs to take a nap. We're stopping. We're just staying in the area. Near South Park, which is like one of my favorite places to be. We're coming. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
All done. Okay, here we go. All done. That was kind of a shit show towards the end. Got a little snack in there. I got blackened chicken salad wrap. I guess I should say I got a blackened chicken salad wrap. And I'm gonna try it really quick while I'm at a red light. Whoa. Oh, and it's, it's now a green light. That's really good. So we're back home. We got, we ran to Whole Foods because we wanted to get some things to make chili in a crock pot meal. Just um, throughout the week, whenever we like don't do every plate, we can just do like a slow cooker meal all day. Especially cause like Mondays and Tuesdays are so busy for me and my mom works too. So it's just easier that way. Update, she officially learned how to drink out of a straw. So that's just crazy. Never thought we'd see that day. And she got it literally, like the first day we tried it is the day she got it. Like she's so smart. Are you so smart? Are you so smart? Are you so smart? Guess what, I, I got you something. I'll show you in a second. Okay, I ordered her some colder weather bows because we have these from Amazon. Here, why don't you turn your body so we can see you better. Okay, so we have these bows that she has in her hair right now from Amazon, but obviously as the weather gets colder, I feel like she's going to need some more, so I bought these bows to try out. Hold on, let me put away the blender. I mean the, um, what is this? Toaster. You guys, when you don't sleep at night, your brain does not work. Your brain don't work. That's why when people pulled like all-nighters and stuff for tests, I, first of all, I've never done that. The first all-nighter... Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The first all-nighter that I've pulled was the night she was born. Seriously. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay, second of all. I pulled a few in my day. No, I don't sleep. No. If I want to function, I have to get eight hours of sleep. So that's why my brain doesn't work. Here's, look at how cute. Do you think that these are going to be cute on your head? And then also, oh my god, these are actually so cute. I need to wash them though. Mom, look at these. Aww. Little try on. Cute ballerina. <laughs> Comes up the back. We we might oh, need to. Yeah. Okay. So, um, my car in my apartment complex. You guys, I have the worst car lock in apartments. I'm so over it. Another reason why I'm like ready to move to a house. But listen, my car got booted. But do you want to know why it got booted? Because we came home from my mom's softball game in the last vlog, and at it was like 10 something by the time we got home and all of the parking spots were taken, literally all of them, except for the compact car parking spots. And so I parked as close to the building as I could. So there was a car here, two spots open and a car there. So I took this spot, but kind of parked over the line a little bit in the next one so we could successfully get her car seat out without hitting the car next to us. And so, because my car, I drive a Jeep, a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is not a compact spot. It's not a compact car, nor can fit into a compact spot. Is there poop on here? No. So, that's why I parked like that. And also, we had Murphy with us, so I had to get him out on the other side too. So I parked like literally six inches, because I measured six inches over the line was how much I parked. And I got booted for not parking within the parking spots. But I took pictures, me and this other car got booted. I took pictures of three other cars parked around us that were parked over the line, 
We need to cut her nails. Um, that didn't get booted. So you guys comment what you would do. Do I go to the management of my building and say, first of all, this is why I parked like this because you had no parking spots left and I was trying to park as close to the building as I could with a child and a dog at 10 p.m. And it, like it sounded like it was like 2 in the morning. Like it was 10 o'clock and there was nowhere to park, first of all. Second of all, I have literal pictures of other cars parked over the line that very night that I got the boot that did not get a boot and they're parked well over the line. I would insert them, but I don't want to expose these people's cars and their license plates because I have their license plate numbers on my phone. Or do I just, well, but I had to call and get the boot off because God forbid we had to like go to the hospital in the middle of the night or something and I couldn't drive because I had a boot on my car, you know? So I called that night and took the boot off. But the funny, whole funny thing about it, this is when they were booting my car, I was at the dog park with Murphy and Sutton and my mom was walking back and forth because she was on a call. Um, and she saw them booting my car. So to the person she was on the call with, she was like, I gotta go. And she ran around the building and ran and sprinted and started like yelling at the, the booter guy to stop his car and take the boot off of my car. And she's like, you can get out of the car, take the boot off the car. And you can come over here and tell him. Yeah, I'm wrapping up that salon. Anyways, she was pissed. Hang on, hang on. She was like, we parked like that because of this, and there's nowhere else to park, and it's not our fault. Like, this is also the following day, and I did not leave the house at all the next day because I literally had, like, a meltdown, and so I was having a bad day. I took that day off of vlogging. We are feeling a little bit better since, but anyways, so we yeah. didn't leave the house, and we didn't move my car because yeah. we were like, whatever. It's barely over the line. No one ever parks in the compact spots anyway. And I was, uh, I'll just put it out there, I was not professional. I literally lost my shit. I was swearing and I told the guy, you gotta remove it. There was nowhere else to park. What were we supposed to do? Maybe in a dog. And he just is, you know, some young kid. He's like, ma'am, you're gonna have to take it up with the number that I put on your window. And I'm like, well, you need to take it off. And he said, I can't take it off. And then I'm like, where the fuck were we supposed to park? Anyway, I called the number and the guy answered. I go, who are you and who do you work for? Like, <laughs> you said that. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I was pissed. And then I explained it to him, too. And he said, well, the apartment complex hired us. Yeah, to just be, like, ruining people's days. So, literally, literally ruining people's days. There's yeah, nothing like, they could do but ruin Where the hell days. were we supposed to park? So, luckily, like, I do think he felt a little sorry for us because he took it from 140 down to 90. You say sorry. So weird. Oh, do I? Sorry. 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 Well, how do you say it? Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. But still, it's the principle of the matter. I'm like Bianca. Like, you can't enforce something when there aren't regular parking spots for people to park in. And we did see that there are people with regular sized vehicles parking in the compact spot spots. But listen, like, your wheels are, like, touching the lines. And you, you can't be an oversized person or someone with a baby car seat trying to get out of the car because you can't. Mm -hmm. And you know what he said to me? Like when they came to unboot the car, he said, well, you could have taken the baby out and then readjusted your car. Like who has time for that? Well, and what he didn't know is that I actually was there with her. I didn't realize this was a rule here or I might have said something to Bianca. Well, I would have said something to Bianca. But... Honestly, what if she just... was by herself? So she's supposed to take the baby out, put the baby in a stroller, and then get back, in, like leave the stroller there and get back in her car. And I realized it would probably take, what, 15 seconds? But, and then what do you do with the dog? Like, oh my God, what a shit show. So, so anyways, I had to anyway, pay to get my car I was booted. planning on going over to the office and like showing my, you know. Butt cheeks. Yeah. Flash the next them. day, yeah, literally reading them the riot act, like just going in like a mom pit bull with lipstick. But when Bianca showed me the email that she'd gotten about a month ago, it says parking the lines. And honestly, like I just didn't even pay attention to that email. Well, you said to me that of course I'm gonna like, park between yeah, the lines. Yeah, like duh, I'm gonna park between the lines. But, but like we I couldn't didn't get the car seat out. And also, I didn't realize I was gonna have to be parked in a compact spot. Okay? Not even the visitor parking had parking spots. Like, because you can park there. Nope. Not even well, they had a ton parking. of reserve spots. Yeah, they also. They were empty. Also. You can, you can buy a reserve spot and have that be your designated assigned seat for $75 a month extra. On a top month. of On top of us already almost paid $2,000 for a two-bedroom. Yeah, which is why they're all empty. Because <laughs> nobody wants to do that. Yeah, so none of the reserve spots have people parked. So now they've, like, made all these reserve spots 
hoping people buy them, but no one did, and they're all the one, like, there's 20 of them, and no, none Alexa's of them. Alexa's listening to you. <laughs> I'm not proud of this moment, but, I, so then I went on the, then, no, I don't have their phone number. Then I went on to the towing company's Google reviews to see what other people said about them, and they've got two stars, and everyone is writing these awful reviews about them, and telling the people, like, Telling, basically telling the story and the reviews of what happened to them and how their car got towed or um, got booted and stuff. Just explaining the situation. And whoever works for this towing company responds to every single one with an excuse and basically calling the person who left a review a liar. Like, I'm not kidding. They're like, this didn't happen. Like, we have record of this. Like, you're not telling the truth is basically what the review said. So instead of leaving a review explaining my situation, I left a review that said, F-U-C-K these people, period. That's all I have to say. So the, how are they going to give me an excuse? Because <laughs> I, I didn't explain my story. I just said, screw these people. And I did that in the heat of the moment. And I'm not proud of it, but I'm not, I'm not going to go delete it. So <laughs> there's that. Little story time on how my car got booted in my own home apartment complex that I pay extra money for, for parking six inches exactly over the line. We seriously got nothing fun at Whole Foods, like nothing super exciting. We got Parmesan cheese, chicken stock, some more pasta, um, tomato juice, tomato sauce, tomato diced tomatoes, and more eggs. Um, just a uh, jalapeno to make uh, chili because we're going to make that tonight. No, not, no, jalapeno goes in the chicken, the boneless tortilla, tortilla soup. Yeah. We are continuing with the fall vibes in the vlog. My mom made chili for dinner. Um, two spoons in here, one to stir, one to scoop. But this is the same chili recipe that I use, so I can have linked it below because, in my opinion, it's the best. It's like not too overpowering, not too much. It's like, it's perfect, in my opinion. My favorite way to do chili is to do a little bit of sour cream, sharp cheddar cheese. This is from Trader Joe's. I'm literally screaming because I'm pretty sure I bought cheese today at Whole Foods, but it's okay. So, do cheese. I'm obsessed with cheese. It's bad. I need to stop eating dairy. But I can't. Okay. Like a dollop of sour cream, you know, like about this much. Put it in. That's going to be my spoon that I eat with. This is a very important step to making your chili. Tastes amazing. They're just these little crackers. And I just put like a handful in, kind of like cover the top. I don't know, you guys. It's seriously the best part. So, okay, there, it looks like this. And then you just gotta like mix it all up, obviously. And oh, it is just way too good. It's a Sunday night, which means House of Dragon, or House of the Dragon, or whatever you say. New episode. Also, First episode with the new characters, which I'm not excited about because Rhaenyra is Millie. Millie is my Rhaenyra, but we'll see because they did like a character switch, made them older. I don't know. I don't really like when shows do that. Also, here's my chili. I'm in my um, Brooklyn Inn robe. So cozy. I can already tell I'm going to be living in this in the winter. It was so worth it. I'm like obsessed. I, my plan was to do laundry and do things and have a productive Sunday, but then we ran errands and it just didn't happen. So we'll try again tomorrow. Um, but I just finished pumping for the night. I was pumped before I go to bed to empty everything out and save the milk for tomorrow to feed to Sutton. Before we go to bed, I'm gonna start a new book. So I'm gonna read Luckiest Girl Alive. It's a thriller and there's a movie coming out really, really soon. So I need to finish it in the next couple days because I think it comes out in like two days. Um, and Mila Kunis is the lead actor, actress. I'm gonna read Luckiest Girl Alive next. And then I might switch back to romance after that. I feel like I'm thrillered out for a little bit, but we'll see. Um, and then, yeah, so hopefully in the next couple days, I'll head to Apple and pick up a new computer. We can set it up together. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. And as always, everything you guys want to need to know will be linked in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog.